Hello everyone. In this video, let us learn about if else statement. In the previous video, we have learned how to use if statement. So in if else statement, I'll explain with one example. I will write in a is equal to 5. I'll use small a. In a is equal to 5. And I will write the condition here. If a or I will in, in place of a, I will use x. If x is greater than 5, if x is greater than or equal to 5, x is greater than or equal to 5, I will put a curly brace here, print f a slash n and I will use one more print f, I will use the multiple statement here, print f b slash n. And if is over. After that, I will write else. This is the syntax for if else. Now I'll just copy this, copy these two lines, and I will paste them. And here I will write C and D. Okay. Now let us check what happens. See if x is equal to 5, this condition, x is equal to 5, this condition is true. When this condition is true, these two statements, these two statements will be executed and else part will not be executed. So A and B will be printed. So you can see the output A and B. If these two, if this condition is false, then only else part will be executed. Okay. For example, let us make the condition false by making it X greater than five. Now C and D will be printed. Okay. Now C and D will be printed. Now what happens? If I remove this curly braces here, okay, what happens if I remove the curly braces here, the program will not run. It will give the error because if you are using multiple statements here, if you are using multiple statement, it is compulsory for you to put the curly braces inside the if condition. What happens if you remove these curly braces, else part curly braces. Now you run the program, the program is running. C and D is coming. How it is coming? For L, if part when you remove curly braces, it was not working. For else part, it is working because after else, it is considering only the one statement as a part of else condition. This statement, it is considering it as a separate statement. Okay. Whether the condition is true or the condition is false, that statement will be executed. Understood or not? Okay. Now let us put the curly braces here. Now what I will do, I'll put a semicolon here after else, after else, according to the syntax of if else, there is no semicolon, but I am keeping a semicolon there, which means my if else statement ended here only. These two, these two lines C and D are not part of if condition. Even if the condition is true or the condition is false, these two statements, hundred percent, they will get executed. For example, I will make the condition true now. Now the condition is true. A and B will be printed. But C and D also will be printed because of the semicolon here. My if condition ended here itself. Now, if you run the program, you can see that A, B, C, D is the output. Now, instead of writing the semicolon here, what if you write the semicolon here? Remember, you can use else only if you are using if. Without if, you cannot use else, only else. But if statement can be used separately. Without else, you can use the if statement. Now, you run this program, you are getting a error. What this error is saying, let me check. This error is saying that else without previous if, which means you are using else without if, but you have if there, you have written one if there, but why it is saying else without previous if? Because my if statement ended here itself, which means this else, for this else, there is no if statement. So that's why it is giving the error. Okay. So these are the problems uh, which can happen with the statement terminator. So be thorough with the syntax of if else, if then curly braces, write the statement, then else write the curly braces, write the statements, which is to be done. And if only for if we are writing the condition, remember for else, you should not write the condition. If the condition is true, these two statements will be executed. The condition is false. These two will be executed.
Okay, this is if else. With this, I'll end this video. Thank you all.